Hello and welcome to the Neckbeard Experience Short. I've got a short story for you today. I hope you'll enjoy. It is from a subscriber. I got this one over a year ago. Oops. I'm looking forward to reading it to you. So without further ado, let's go. After reading a lot of Neckbeard stories, I thought I would share mine. Our Neckbeard of the day, I'll call JB, short for Junkbeard. JB and I lived in the same apartment complex, and we knew each other from school. We dated for like three months, and during that time, all I would hear was him say, I'm so very smart, and if I took an IQ test, I would probably ace it. I don't want to brag, but uh, I'm very, very good at playing with swords. I don't play against other people because I would beat them too easily, but what I'm looking for in a woman is that she has a beautiful mind and body and that she will cook and clean for me and stay at home. Well that last part is what really made me run for the hills. He even had a black fedora that he wore all the time. JB did say the typical my lady once to me. I just shot him a weird look and I stopped that pretty quick. JB's apartment was a little messy and a bit cluttered but it wasn't filled with trash at first. That'll come into play later on. JB would do things just to make me mad. One example is when I gave him a one-year-old laptop. I didn't need it anymore, and he said he wanted it. Come to find out, come to find out the very next day he gave it to a girl next door. When I yelled at him about it, he said, she's a single mom and she needs help. Mind you, I'm a single mom too, as well as I could have sold it and had some extra cash. JB would get his daughter on the weekend, so I gave her a small flat screen TV my daughter wasn't using it anymore. A week later, I found it in pieces on his floor because he said the screen was messed up and I was going to fix it, but it was too rudimentary and it was too boring, so I decided not to do it. It worked perfectly fine when I gave it to him and it was only one year old. JB loved to spend hours on his video games and he claimed I can't work because people will be too intimidated by me and um, so they won't hire me. I think his parents were supporting him. When I told him I was interested in playing online, he made some sexist comments like uh women can't do it they can't play online because um they don't have the mental complexity to be able to do that kind of stuff so uh i wouldn't do that if i were you you know just the typical neckbeard talk two months later we broke up our apartment complex was doing their annual pest control maintenance jb was out of the state at that time and he asked me to let management into his apartment and oh my god it was a sight to behold when you first walk in jb put up three fly strips and they were full of flies the area around his computer desk had soda cans and paper plates with food still on them mind you and his floor was covered in trash i have to give him this there was a path from the desk to the bathroom but holy hell the bathroom it was bad i turned on the lights a decision i now regret to see gnats flying out and around the toilet i didn't dare to look in i just about fell over from the smell in two months the apartment went from a little messy to a horror sight to behold i excused myself and ran quickly back to my apartment i I honestly thought I was going to throw up. Then I gave JB a call and said, Ah, uh, JB, seriously, what the actual f What I'm going to tell you next is his actual words. I thought that you would see it messy and you'd want to get back with me. I really need help. I was just stunned. I have to keep my place clean, raise my daughter, and work. JB, what the hell? Why would I want to clean yours too? You're an adult. Clean it yourself. I'm not your mother. He fell silent after that and told me just to give the manager his key. I tracked him down and I overheard him talking about evicting him because it was such a mess. I said nothing to them as I handed the key to them and I went about my day. JB came back about a week later and there was an eviction notice in his mailbox. He tried to fight it, but eventually he had to move back in with his mom. I haven't spoken to him since i did hear from a friend that jb did get married recently yes the fedora wearing jerk found a hoarder wife of his own i even heard that she was a leg beard in her own right i imagine those two happily living in marriage bliss on top of a garbage pile all their own thank you for joining me for this edition of nick beard experience shorts i'll be back again tomorrow and i hope you join me so until then this is dallas signing off